Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Congratulations, New York, California, and Seattle. You are getting the minimum wage raised. Oh, shit. Well, what's that all about? New York City minimum wage increase may lead to business exodus? What? <laughs> Fuck you. You can't make it up, man. They're already spinning it out of control, right? They're already spinning. The spin machine has happened. So this is uh, New York Post reporting. So January 1st, the New I'll, I'll speak only for, for New York because that's what I'm sure of. And I believe California as well. Uh, the minimum wage has gone from, in New York, $13 an hour to $15 an hour. So let's read what the, what the Post says and then we'll, we'll uh, continue. You got a guy handing out an extra buck. There's a fucking extra dollar, right? What does it say? New York City business owners may soon take a hike. <laughs> so this is spin, right? To neighboring towns in New Jersey and Connecticut, where labor cost, costs now look much more attractive, says labor experts. We'll see who those experts are. Check this shit out. By January 1st, New York City will officially hike the minimum hourly wage from $13 to $15 for businesses with 11 or more employees. Very important. They're not talking about, you know, the the deli that has three or four guys working, right? They're talking about a, a, a significant business with 11 employees or more compared with a statewide increase of 25 cents. <laughs> so they raised it from 13 to 15 in New York. And in New Jersey, they only got 25 cents extra per hour. Uh, uh, New Jersey's minimum wage rate notches in at $8.85, or 41% lower than the Big Apples. Than the Big Apples. Connecticut is standing pat at $10.10 an hour. So you see what they're doing. They're, 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 they're saying, oh, no, no, New York, you raised the minimum wage and everybody's going to go to New Jersey. Right. Yeah. New York City is raising the minimum wage at the same time as we hear an increasing number of stores closing in New York City, said, and here's the, here, comes the, here comes the hack, said Michael Saltzman, research director at the Employment Policies Institute. If you look it up, he's a hack. He, that's all he does is he writes pieces on why the minimum wage is going to destroy the the, uh, the economy. Right. He's also c connected to that Berman guy. Uh, he's a, just a hack. It's just I mean, it's not even worth uh, diving too deep into. But uh, Michael Salzman, the hack, uh, he's the research director at the Employment Policies Institute, hack firm, front firm. Noting how many of these enterprises offer gateway jobs. All right, let me start that again. He's noting how many of these enterprises offer gateway jobs in the low wage sector. Those were a step toward higher pay later for workers who gained experience and more education. All right. See now that's 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 head up your ass theory because those, it was once believed that, and it was once was that lower wage jobs were gateway uh, positions to higher paying. Like college kids would work at McDonald's, they make a couple of dollars an hour, they graduate college, and they move on into their profession. Those days are over. See, that's what jackoffs like this fail to. Uh, they're not. They're not doing it because they believe it. They're doing it because they're hacks. Right, they're trying to downplay the fifteen dollar minimum wage, right? By saying that that oh, those are only gateway jobs. No, but the the point is that un real unemployment is probably up around fifteen to seventeen percent in the country, right? And th there are no other jobs anymore. This this is what this is what we have. This is the state of the economy. The prospect of businesses avoiding the Big Apple or moving from New York City to lower paying New Jersey and Connecticut is gaining momentum as the clock ticks towards the new year. Where's your evidence? There's no evidence whatsoever to suggest that. That's purely, that's purely fucking Saltman's fucking bullshit. Another New Yorker, another new year comes with another mandate wage increase in New York City that small businesses will have to figure out how to manage. Another hack. 
said Andrew Riggi, executive director of New York City Hospitality Alliance, summing up sentiment among many of his fellow members of his, this, of his service sector. Quote, let's hope consumers are willing to pay the higher price needed to offset, offset the mandate. Right? So they push it off on the customer rather than when McDonald's has, you know, is making billions and billions of dollars and they're paying their executives, you know, f seven, eight figures, right? Right. They, they, they're not going to shave money there. They're going to try to they're going to try to jack up the price. Right. That's how they're going to compensate. Right. They don't. They're no bending whatsoever. No bend. Right. They're not going to take. They're not going to. But but there's more to it. Let me just let me just finish this article. All told, December 31st or January 1st, 20 states and 23 localities nationwide will hike the minimum wage. The increase will have various iterations in New York State, such as a jump to 13.50 in New York City for employees with 10 or fewer employees. All right, so that goes up too. 12 in Nassau, Suffolk, and Westchester counties, and 11.10 hourly in the rest of the state. All right, so it's it's only it's only New York City getting the fifteen. Huh. I just learned something. I thought it was all New York State, <laughs> so I stand corrected. So it's only New York City getting fifteen dollars. This fucking bad motherfucker. Right? What are they gonna do? Go? To, they can go to Long Island for thirteen, right? So here's the deal, right? So what happens in New York City? New York City is a very very expensive place to live, right? And most of the most of the organizations that are are getting are forced to hike the minimum wage to fifteen so that people maybe can survive. What they do, they don't pay full time employee anyway, right? They they very rarely these organizations will very rarely give people more than twenty or twenty five hours a week because anything more, what happens? Then they have to pay for health care, and they don't want to pay for health health care. That's why Medicare for all is a good idea. You see how, how if you get Medicare for all, right, then the, the employers, that's the single reason why they don't want to hire people full time is because they have to pay for the Medicare, right? They have to pay for health care, right? So again, if we had a system of universal single payer health care, Medicare for all, we could, employer, employers would be more willing to hire people Full time, so that they can make a, a an actual living wage, but no. Instead, what they do is they 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 they'll only pay. They'll get more people and work part time, so that they don't have to pay that that uh, that uh, fee, right? And then what happens? You pay anyway because those people who can't get are not offered the health care. Go on and get uh, uh, welfare health care anyway, right? They're covered. They get they get Medicare, right? Because they're below the poverty level, right? Now the other thing is when you, as you as you raise the minimum wage, right, and those people in the bottom the bottom part of the the earning level, right, make a little more, then they cut their food stamps. That's how that's how they'll save the money, right? Because most of the people that that are uh, uh, earning minimum wage and only work twenty five hours a week get they get uh, health care and Subsidy, health care from the government, and food stamps from the government. So, again, this is so is a, is is raising the minimum wage. Is first of all, is the story true? Is it, are people going to exodus? For our business is going to exodus outside of New York City because of the the no, they're not. What are they going to do? Take their fast food joint and go to go to New Jersey? Right? It's fucking. It's stupid, right? It's not gonna. That's not gonna happen. There's no evidence to suggest that they'll. They will compensate somehow. Whether they chop people's hours, they're, they're not gonna budge, right? So again, in in the in the argument for raising the minimum wage is also the argument for universal single payer health care, and I just told you why because it it allows the the companies to pay more because they don't have to pay. For the health care, health care is guaranteed. And also workers have flexibility in moving around. They don't feel like they're locked in. So Marcus Conti reporting.